Hello and welcome to a tabletop bellhop board game bag check. Yeah, I guess it's in a plastic bag. That works. It's a board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the tabletop bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Well, what I'm hoping to do for you to now, tonight, here, live, and on YouTube is uh, let you know what comes in the bag with the Azul Special Factories goodies. Special Factories goodies. So we have an expansion here for the base, the original Azul game from Next Move and Plan B Games. Uh, no, this is not a review copy or anything. This is something my wife picked up. So we're going to crack this open. You can kind of already see what you get, but take a look what you get. But I'm also going to let you know what this does to the game because I don't know. And I'm going to look through the rule book and let you know exactly how this changes your game of Azul so you know whether you want to pick it up or not. Enough rambling. Let's get to it. All right. So these came in a plastic baggie. Which includes a rule book, two funky looking factory tiles, like I, I'm factory being, you know, the things you draft off of, and a bunch of times twos, which the times two is fascinating because it looks like it might be similar to the glazed pavilion expansion, which gives you new boards that have times two on them. But it looks like you might get to put these where you want, but there's only one set. So I don't even know. I don't know. Let's find out. So, when setting up Azul, oh, this is small text, I have apologies, I'm going to have to move in a bit here. So, when setting up a game of Azul, return two of the factory and use these instead. This one, this factory tile, um, has a wall surrounding it. When picking, you pick tiles of one color, the remaining tiles are not moved to the market. Okay, that's cool, that's neat. So, when you take tiles off here, they don't go to the central market. And then this one... Whenever you pick tiles in one color from this, the remaining tiles aren't moved to the center. They either go to the left or right, dividing them as you want. So that's, I gotta say, that's neat. That's a neat change to Azul. So this factory tile supposedly has a wall. I don't know how you represent a wall there, but you don't get the, once you draft from it, you don't put the tiles in the middle. And this one, when you draft, you don't put them in the middle, they slide to the other two factories. That sounds really cool. Then we have the double score markers. Oh, ha <laughs> ha, okay. So these go next to the, the, the display, and once a game, when you move one of your tiles from a pattern line over to your wall, you can double the points by the placement of that tile if the marker of that color is still available and you haven't already used one. So that's it. At one point during the game, you're like, I'm going to score double blue this time. And well, if, as long as no one else has chosen that, and then later someone's like, oh, later in the game, I'm going to score double red. And I can totally see that being really interesting during the game. Because there's a bit of cat and mouse there of, is he going to take the red now, or can I wait two turns to get it? Sounds really cool. So really, you get two little mini expansions, two different mini expansions, with this um, Azul Special Factories. Sorry, Factory Goodies. A special Factories Goodies. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that. That's it. That sounds really cool. Um, I am a big fan of Azul, have been since it came out. I still think it's one of the best welcoming games out there. We play a lot of Azul. I'm going to be bringing it to a public play event coming up in a couple weeks, probably. And I'll probably include this with it. So what you get here is two new factories that do very cool things. You have one factory where when you draft tiles off it, they don't go to the center market. They just stay on here until they're all gone. And then another factory that when you draft tiles off here, the remaining ones go to the factories to the left and right. And then ways to score bonus points during the game at any point. You can be like, oh, I'm going to score times two on the, whatever you want to call it, the blue flower pattern. And you take the tile and you've scored it and then no one else can score that. That's very cool. This looks very really neat. I am looking forward to checking this out. That is the Azul Specials, Special, man, Special Factories Goodies. Azul Special Factories Goodies. Azul Special Factories Goodies. Azul Special Factories Goodies. Got it? I don't think I do. I'm trying, but it's not right working. So, yeah, promo for Azul, Dig Azul, looking forward to checking this out. When I do check it out, I will be sharing uh, my thoughts on it on social media. I don't think we'll do up a formal review, but we'll be sure to talk about it when we do use these on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can find on your podcatcher of choice, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all those fun places. And maybe it'll even come up on our um, uh, on the blog. Uh, if I do write up a review, it'll be there, tabletopbellhop.com. If not, I can totally see this showing up in some kind of game recommendation episode in the future. Perhaps best promos, because I gotta say, this sounds fun. Thank you for joining me. Good day, and game on.